Hi everyone. So my name is Pixie. I'm going to help you create this masterpiece. We have all of our um, paints and our paint brushes. Um, I want to go over the paint brushes with you in case you don't have them. All we need is a bigger paint brush and doesn't matter how ratty it is. We'll smooth it out with this one. Um, but not too wide because we have to get in smaller places. And then um, this this one, she's a number 12, but just means like one of those um, bigger ones that can hold paint. But we're not going to use the tip, so it doesn't matter if it comes to a point. Um, you can use a flat topped one. And we just use the side of the paintbrush to get this interesting texture like that. And then a small paintbrush. And she's like a number four, right? Like not um, smaller than a pencil, like the a four. I don't know how to describe that, but just it doesn't have to be very, very thick because you don't need to grab the stick. The size of the paintbrush really is how much paint she grabs when you go poof and get paint, right? So we're going to use our paints and then I gave you a great big giant amount of paint. It's just two ounces. It's a lot because we're going to do the wet on wet, which means you get it all wet with white, whatever you're doing, and then decorate the white and, um, it's because uh, water is a solvent to acrylic paint and it just kind of dissolves the paint and um, changes its integrity and everything. So it's just more fun and has a better texture when we use the white. And then um, then we have the jellyfish colors, which is white with yellow and then this orange, but he's a very dark orange. Okay, and then and it's called chrome orange. But I have found chrome orange in like every shade, so just pick what you like, All right? Oh yeah, and why do we do the orange against the blue? Jellyfish are not orange, right? But it's the style of painting and with rainbow tentacles. Yeah, right. But it's because of this, the color wheel. So if the background is blue and purple, what's her opposite? Doom! The orange on that side. Right, so we wanted we got the uh, having the orange next to the blue background and turquoise background right there, and that oh so pretty. It's called contrast. They're opposites. You couldn't mix blue and orange; they would turn kind of a brown color. But you can go um, and put them next to each other. That's why. So it's like why? Why do we? That's not even because that's why it's a painting, not a photograph. Right? They're see through. That's why jellyfish think they're plastic bags. Anyway, so now we're gonna um, paint the background first, then put the jellyfish on, and then put our little tentacles on. And just remember, I tend to go too fast when I make a video in my office and I'm not with you in the classroom or, or in the after school program because um, you're not there. So after every step, I wait, I watch, I walk around, I support, I come back, and that was plenty of time for everyone to catch up. But when I'm in the office for myself, I already did that step. And then I'm sitting here with empty silence <laughs> by myself. So I said to just start doing the next step. Just have your finger on the pause. Boop, boop, boop. So when you start doing the next step too fast, it's not your fault. You're not going too slow. I'm too fast. I've already done this. I already know how. So after I've done it, I'm like, done. And then I move on. So that's not fair to your brain who's doing it for the very first time. And just be loving and forgiving with your brain and like, oh my God, I have to put it on a, on a, a pause again. So uh, there's not a rush, right? We just go as slow as we need to go. Not too slow because your paint will dry and get sticky and gross. But, you know, moving along. So now we can do the background. So this is what you have is I just you know, did this is called line when you, um, I put it closer so you can see it's just a little pencil drawing. It's called line when you do the shape of something because paintings are shape, color, texture, and value, right? So the shape, I got the shapes already. The, oh, and the texture, the water is side to side, right? The texture we try, on the jellyfish, we try to be smooth, but it looks kind of tie-dye when you're not smooth, so that looks cool too. Um, so shape, color, texture, and then color value. We try to make 3D, dark, medium, light. Whenever we make a color, we try to, um, the most beautiful part of painting is running out of paint. 
it makes it really light and really pretty and um but but what we tend to do in our first painting is we just keep trying to move the dark into the light and the light into the dark the dark and you just get medium and then nobody loves it it's like mm, that's medium so we're going to try to practice that because even if you don't love how it comes out there is something about understanding this that changes the way you look at um art after this you're like i know how to do that Okay, feel that it's totally by experience alone. Can you can you understand? So we're gonna paint that. We're gonna use our big paintbrush first, and we're gonna get. Uh, oh no, it's a lie. We're gonna use this one and outline our jellyfish first. I'll we'll just outline them, and then we'll use white wet paint, fast, 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 and get it all wet with white paint, and then use the side of your paintbrush, and we'll put color and then decorate it like that. Okay. So we need to open our white paint. I'm gonna put mine in front of me instead of next to me, I think. And then um, what other colors are in the background? Let me see, let's open those. Um, I see this turquoise color. Mm -hmm. Okay. Probably not gonna use all that. So you'll have some for later. Okay, and then blue. Noise. So really, uh, she's supposed to be sky blue, but she came out very dark. Depends on what company you buy it from. I don't know. Every dozen is different. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna, and I and I put. You see how there's little dark pieces, and sometimes there's light pieces, and sometimes there's even pieces of white. So dark, medium, light. Oh, and then the purple on the bottom. I forgot. We don't need very much of that. I just like to have them open and ready. But, oh, I don't like the lids. They're dangerous. I don't like them. They, get, they fall off. They're gross. And they get on your arm and they fall. So push them away. Lids separate from, I'm moving them away from my cups. Cups tend to stay where you put them because they're heavy. But the lids. So let's outline. So when we outline with paint, um, we actually only use one hair, the paintbrush. I know it's so weird, but it's true. We're gonna stab our white paint. Cause remember this is our water. It's gonna act as our medium to mix color. So we're gonna stab our white paint and get a lot on there. But then we go above the pencil line and we go smash and our paintbrush opens like a fan. But we only stare at that one hair on the bottom. <laughs> that one hair and we sneak it down and it touches the, the sh pencil and then we push. It'll make a big fat line, but it, a nice thick bead of paint will come popping out the bottom and make it smooth, right? So as soon as we're doing this so that when you go to outline your jellyfish after the background's done and a tiny bit gets on your jellyfish, when we outline the jellyfish, we can smooth it with one and nice and smooth. So we're learning in advance, right? So let's get our white paint, stab your white paint, like that, a disgusting amount. I don't know. And then I'll hold it closer so you can see, because this is going to be white paint on a white canvas, so harder to see. But I'm going to go smash, and then I sneak down, and I let that one hair touch the pencil, and then push. Look at that th thick bead of paint that comes out, and I push and push. I fold over my paintbrush and push my paint, and it comes squishing out. There. No wigglies. That's for crayons. And then there's paint on the other side. That's for crayons, markers color pencils you know where the paint comes out a ton of it at a time it's so annoying but paint is thick so it goes on super thick so you don't have to do any scribblies see i just now you do it rainbow that's a rainbow but we're after that thick bump of bead paint it doesn't work every time but it's really a good trick No, yet more paint because I used both sides already. I always just flip over my paintbrush, paint on the other side, whoop, and get more paint. But now I can do the little one. Smash me, and one hair is touching my pencil, and I didn't pick up my paintbrush or wiggle. I know. I went over the line a little bit, but it's white paint on white. It can't really hurt, right? And then now I could do the bottom. I just ride the roller coaster at the bottom. Wee! Wee! <laughs> Flip my paintbrush over. Paint on that side. Wee! Oh, not enough paint though. It didn't do that squishy thing. Just get a little bit more. Smash. Squish. Okay. Nice. How did 
Do you? See how that's a trick? I bet you didn't go over the, you did a good job, huh? You're like, cause I, you didn't know that before. Once someone shows you, now you know how to do it all the time. And let's just put a fake line underneath our jellyfish, not a real line, just for our brain to know that we're gonna paint the top half white and decorate it, and then we'll do the bottom half. I mean, it'll be the same color, so this isn't a real line. We'll go up and down and up and down past that line, you know, mix the colors from both worlds. But it's just, so you don't go too far past. Okay, I'm gonna rest this little paint, this number 12, and rest her. Bye. I'm gonna find the big honking one. And then we're gonna stab her paint. I know, it's so much paint. Stab it. Oh, that's so much paint. But we're gonna smoosh it around like peanut butter. So you just smash it on, and then push and shove, and push and shove. And I'm using the sides of the paintbrush, not really the tip. She's ratty. I just use the sides and I squish and smash and squish and smash. Now you do it. Look at how it's shiny. But where I missed, it's not shiny. I need more paint. I, I think I just smushed the paint into my paintbrush is what I did. So I just need more. Because the paintbrush is like a sponge. If you touch this too much, the paintbrush will soak your paint back into the paintbrush. Just wipe it on and then be done. Don't go back. Keep smoothing. We're going to smooth with that other paintbrush. Decorating paintbrush. Smooth. More paint. I know. More paint already. What? And then down the side. Bleh, 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 bleh. Oh, I can hear it. Did you hear that? That scratch sound? That not enough paint. Slippery. Slippery sound. A slippery sound is like this. Right? Slippery. Okay. And then you might not be able to tell, but your neighbor could tell where you missed. Because it's not shiny. I have one right there. It's not shiny. Get it? Oh, the corner. Corners always get missed. Because we're using this as our, it has to be wet, the surface. And now that we put the paint thin, you know it's going to dry out immediately. Because we put it thin and now the air is going to steal all our water out of our paint. So we're in a hurry. So put big paintbrush down. Remember, you could pause right there because I probably went too fast. You know. So I'm going to get this paintbrush and it's dirty. No, I don't care. Um, I'm going to go and put some turquoise and little dots everywhere and we'll decorate them later. So I'm going to get my paintbrush. It's filthy. I'm making water. So I just stabbed the turquoise. Only one time though, right? Because I don't, uh, I, I, if I put too much, it gets really dark. Um, so I'm just going to put some, some, right? And not a ton of it because nothing would happen. But just what, and don't go back and get more. It's probably enough. And let's just drop it off like there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. No, I have more on the other side. Okay. And I just wipe it off until it's all gone. Just throw it on there. Like it's a booger and you want it off your paintbrush, you know? Because we're going to decorate that. Not yet. We're going we're gonna to add blue. Now we're going to stab our blue. One time, because she's so dark, right? And now I'm going to go, okay, wherever there isn't turquoise. So maybe over here and here. Oh, look at the paint in the side. The two colors are mixing just by having a dirty paintbrush in there. Let's see if I have Just look at my paint. Okay. <laughs> Wipe it off. But, oh, I forgot this. I, oh, there'll be plenty in my paintbrush when I go down there. Remember, now that we're going to decorate, we're going to mix those, but not too much. How many color values do we need for 3D? Dark, medium, light. So the blue by herself is dark. Mix a little turquoise, she becomes medium. If you let some white live, right? Okay, but we're gonna use sight, the sight, hold like a magic wand, not a pencil. That will just use the tip and it's kind of pushed too hard. So we use the side of a paintbrush, hold like a magic wand. And we use the side of our paintbrush, just start in the corner, but try not to visit the same place more than once. You just keep moving, keep it moving. And it's side to side and side to side. Even when you get close to the jellyfish, and don't get close to the jellyfish. We'll wait till we run out of paint on our paintbrush and we'll just get sneak up to the jellyfish. So watch, okay, everybody watch. So I go, mm, I'm near here, here. Oh, and then I keep going. And oh, oh, I said, oh, then I hit a dark one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Then I hit a light one, then I hit a dark one. And I go down the side, and then in between, what? And then blah, 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 bl
many pieces? I, I do. Now you do. You do. You might have to put pause because this is a silence for me. But a little bit of paint on my paintbrush. I think I'll go sneak up closer to the edges though. I did not, but it still has to be side to side no matter what because the texture of water is side to side. Up and down it looked like grass. You know what I mean? Even though this might be easier going up and down it looked like grass. So it just falls the page. I got dark pieces and light pieces. Should I go back and touch it a whole bunch? No. Nah, you just make medium. So now just a little bit of paint on my paintbrush. Now, because I, I don't have very much color on there. Now, look at how I didn't touch my jellyfish really good. But now I can just go side to side, little wiggle side to side, and go sneak up to my jellyfish side to side. Oh, and I got a little bit, but it's not very much paint on there, so it's not hurting. Oh, like that. <laughs> look at that. And I just go all sneaky up to the bottom, and it makes your edges of your jellyfish all ratty. But remember how we practiced making a smooth line? We'll practice the smooth line again when we outline our jellyfish. Oh, that's ugly. Look what I did. Now look, look, look. Let me, let me just try to fit, fit. There. Just blend that in a little bit. I made Z's. That doesn't look good. Look at the Z's I made. Let me just very gently, like, trying to ruin that dumb pattern. There. I made a little Z pattern. I didn't like it. It's supposed to be just straight and flat, but then I went, <laughs> that was a little, little, you know, ziggy, zaggy. Okay, filthy paintbrush. Don't care. Just set it down on your tablecloth, your plastic tablecloth, because it just goes in the trash. And then find Big Bertha again. Now we can get the whole, and I know I went too fast. Um, get the whole bottom all sopping wet with white. And remember that imaginary line? Not real. We could put white paint on it, and then cause it's all going to be turquoise and blue. It'll match, same colors. But I'm going to get my big paintbrush and stab my white. It's a lot. I don't care. I'm going to smush it around. But now I get to smush it like this. Way more freeing. And what if oh, I touch the turquoise? But so, so, right? And I just want to get plenty of paint on there. And then I don't want to fall. I just fall off the sides because the sides get jealous. Like that and push it all the way. Oh, listen to that scratchy sound. I think I need to speck more. There, oh, better. All wet. I just want to make sure I fell off the sides. Looking for the knot. It goes way. You trust yourself more? Wasn't that faster? Because you already done the top part? I don't know. Put big paintbrush down. I got paint on me. <laughs> and then get this one. And can we decorate that bottom half with turquoise and blue? So we stab our turquoise, boom, and uh, I guess here and here and here and here, and then there. Get it all off my paintbrush to get the booger, yeah. And then I just swipe it, right, because I don't want a dark part, medium part, light part. Now I get the bottom. Stab one time, boop, and I just drop that off where turquoise is not. I guess there and there and there and there. Brush over, make sure. But now you can predict what's gonna happen. Side, oh, magic wand. Side to side, side, and fall off the pages. The edges get very jealous if you just start and stop and don't fall off. Fall off the page, right? So I just go, what? In like little long stripes, and I don't go back and fix anything. I actually love the weird colors it makes. Fall off the page, fall off the page, fall off the page. Gorgeous. So good. Do you have dark pieces, medium pieces, light pieces? And then the dirty little paintbrush. Remember that fake line? You say, oh, no, 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 that's not a real line. Take your thin, you know, there's not very much paint left in your paintbrush. And just go over that fake line so we don't have to look at it anymore. See, it's the same color. And we just sew the two worlds together. I go a little bit higher and a little bit lower. There. Good. Nice. I want to fix this right there. I don't know why. It's bugging me. <laughs> it's all ratty looking. Okay, now we're going to get um, purple and paint it purple going up. It's like the deep ocean peeking up and looking at us. So what we're going to try to go for is 3D. 
dark, medium, light. So we're going to make it very dark purple on the bottom. And then just like when we're smoothing, we go a tiny bit higher, a tiny bit higher, a tiny bit higher. And we're kind of running out of paint, running out of paint. And then run, but they, all the lines have to touch, like you're sweeping or mowing the lawn, right? Higher, 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 right now. And then we get this invisible misty moment. Running out of paint is the beautiful miracle, okay? But I don't, this time I don't like the turquoise and the blue. So I'm gonna get it off. And since we don't use water, because water is a solvent, so I, I don't like to use water. I've had an accident where the water dripped on my paint and it just erases your paint. It's the worst. So just get a paper towel, put your paintbrush in it, fold it over, squeeze the paint over and go over. That's mostly clean. And all the paint's in there. But that's as clean as I need it to be to go get purple. Because we're going to basically ruin this water anyway. <laughs> so now I'm going to get my purple. And this down my purple really hard. And I'm probably going to have to get more purple than normal because I already put white paint on there. And white paint will make it turn lavender. So that's right. Let's put a little extra. So put it on the very bottom, bottom, bottom of your painting. I need to put my paint down. Holding it is awkward. And I'm going to lift it up a little because I want to see the bottom bottom. See, it turned lavender right away. I'm going to get another stab. Uh, so that I have, it's only two fingers big, but it's very purple. Nope. Still, I want to go one more. One more stab of purple. I know it looks like a lot, but they put purple in a clear gel. So as soon as you wipe it on, she kind of disappears. There, now it's purpley. And I'm using both sides of my paintbrush to make, make sure it all come off. Now I get to, this is the hard part for your brain because it's your first time. So we're gonna go a little bit higher. You can't go back down and get more purple. You're supposed to run out. So I'm gonna go a little higher, 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 and I ran out. Wanna see if I do it? What? Okay, so I'm down here in the purple. There it is, boring. And then I go a little bit higher, and then a little bit higher. It's already running out of paint. My paper, she's out of paint. Why is it? I'm out of paint. Oh, and I, oh, oh, and then I ran, and then, I, oh, I got a little bit out. And then I ran out. So what did I get? Dark area, medium area, light area, invisible. And that's the goal, right? Oops, I went back down and touched the purple. Exactly what I told you not to do. I went and did it again. A mistake. I'm gonna try again, okay? Do we get mad? No, we just do better, so I'm going to get my purple. I'm going to redecorate the bottom so it's a little bit blue and purplier. Okay, it's supposed to be very purple on the bottom. Look what I did. I ruined it. Okay, but now I'm going to go higher, high, a little bit higher, off the page, to off the page, to off the page, running out. I don't have to push very hard. I'm kind of floating on top of the watercolor. And then, oh, I ran out of paint. I must be done. I am. Now we're all done with this paintbrush. You can just leave it like that. We'll wash it later. I actually like to leave the paint on there. It keeps the paintbrush from drying out. Is that weird? I know. Now we're going to switch to um, this little uh, lower paintbrush. Whatever you got is good. But we're going to use that same trick as we did when we outlined the jellyfish. So I'm going to get white paint. Yeah. Smash my paintbrush. Boop. But I'm going to stay inside the jellyfish and go boop. And let one hair sneak out and touch the water a little bit and smooth my jellyfish out with that thick bead of white paint. So I just stab my white. And you're going to have to, it looks, she's littler. She's going to run out of paint in like three fingers or four. So you go, stop, get more paint, go a little higher, stop, go a little further. <laughs> so weird. But that's okay, we'll do the big one first. Don't do what you think to the little one, let it rest. So I'm gonna go from inside my jellyfish, smash, sneak up. I am touching the water though. And I go on top of that fuzzy little edge of water. Just, and my thick bead of paint is squishing out and then I ran out. It's that thick bead of paint that I wanted. Because to me, did I wiggle? Step, push your paint. So good. Ride the roller coaster at the bottom. Look at that thick bead of paint. That is how it makes a smooth line. When you run out of paint, get more. Good job. 
Okay, now we're gonna fill the jelly fit because we wanna add um, yellow and orange to it, right? But we fill it just about, you know, to here with white paint, not in, don't put any white paint in this corner because it will just make a, the dark orange will just make sherbet. Nobody loves that. So we want it dark red, so it can go all the way from dark, medium, less, 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 right, light. But we, we so we're not gonna put any white in this corner, so it'll be very, very orange when we start the orange. So I'm gonna stab my white paint and hold like a magic wand, blah, 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 blah. And, but not in the corner. I only put it there because I was trying to smooth out the line, but it'll be dry by the time we visit it, you'll see. So near the corner, maybe, here. So I make this weird little triangly piece. And now I can fill it with white paint. Push and shove and push and shove and then listen. Instantly add a paint dry. Get another scoop. A scoop of paint. And then and then slow down when you get near an edge. Whoa. And then another scoop. You have to just keep scooping. Because she's little. She can't hold very much paint. But you'll see why that's important. Oh. There, I did it. And I'm checking for shiny pieces. Okay. And anything dry. Okay. That's nice. Oh, pause. You can put the lids on your purple and your turquoise and your blue. Because we're all done with those. Click, click, click. But leave white open. We always use white. Click. Oh, okay. Because... Now we need orange and yellow. So I'm gonna open my yellow. Boop, dangerous lid. And then open your orange. Boop. <laughs> lid, get it out of here. Okay, and then I have this filthy paintbrush, but we don't care. We're gonna get a scoop of yellow. I know, because the jellyfish is big and just, Get really close to the top. You're not in this, um, not in that corner. That's for dark orange, but try, try, try. And, oh, I didn't hit the top. Let me slow down. Oh, there. Right, and then to the, this is like a hot dog shape. It's the mouth part of the jellyfish. And then I want it even yellower -er than that. So get a scoop again of the yellow and drop it off again. So good. There. Now it's very yellow. So how many versions of yellow do we hope for? Value of yellow. Dark yellow, medium yellow, running out of yellow, all gone, disappear. Side of our paintbrush. And it, and instead of um, just going everywhere, we're gonna do it in like just two fingers big, a little scribble, but they all have to touch. Remember those Zs? We don't want Zs. So you have to go he, 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 and slowly fall down. So I use the side of my paintbrush, touch the top, and just turn this yellow into dark yellow. A little side to side scribble, dark. Mm -hmm. Good job. And then I like the texture it makes, mixing with the white. Now, just what's left on my paintbrush, and you can grab half of that yellow and push it forward. Another, you can't go back and get more yellow, way back here, that's dark. So now I'm gonna go, oh, let, oh, it's lighter already. The white's eating my yellow. And then just what's left on my paintbrush, even less, and I make sure I touch, I lay, I try to land good. And, and then, look, oh, it's even lighter. And even lighter. And then you run out of paint. And it's just white. And it's invisible. How many color values do I have? Dark, medium, light, gone. <gasps> now you try it. Oh, and I'm going to fix the edge a little bit. I messy missed it. So good, right? Good job. And then do you like the texture? It's a little tie dye -y, right? Look at my texture. You thought my texture was interesting. It's a little bit scribbly, okay? And then now we're gonna go get orange, but we don't want white on there because that'll make a sherbet color, right? No, we want it that dark red orange to start. So get a little paper towel. Let's give it a pinchy. Pulled over. See, it's mostly out. That's all we gotta do. It's mostly clean. Right. Now I'm gonna stab my orange, and I'm gonna have to get uh, orange a couple of times until it turns that 
I'm on a nice solid dark orange over here. So I'm gonna stab my orange. Let's outline the, the side to make sure it's smooth. Let's do that. I just go. See, that's just, that's not anymore. It's not, it's, I, I'm getting a huge scoop, but it just runs out so fast. Squish. Did you get a nice smooth side? Because you didn't pick up your paintbrush, you just squished. Mm -hmm. Now I can go and sneak up to it a little tiny way. Oh, it just turned baby. Oh. No, so you get a big scoop of the orangey red. We're going to try to keep getting it until it turns a nice red color here in the corner. But I'm going to float on top of the paint. I'm holding like a magic wand. I'm floating on top of the paint. I don't have to push hard. I just want to like put another layer on top. Very gentle, soft. Oh, I can see it. I don't have to push hard. I'm just changing her tail. Oh, that's better. That's a much darker orange. Yep. And see how I didn't go outside the line? I just slowed down. Smaller wiggles when I get near the edge. Now, let's push it forward. And then I'm going to, what's, what's left of my paintbrush? I never go back here. That's my dark, dark orange corner. But now I can put the orange and the yellow and the yellow and the orange. Make a new color. So I put the orange and the yellow and the yellow and the orange and the orange and the yellow and the yellow. <gasps> Look at that new color. Look at it. Because that's dark, this must be medium. And now there's only a tiny bit of orange left in your paintbrush. So we're going to go all the way to the tippy top and just grab it, just the edge of that. Oh, it's disappearing. And then I could do it again. Hey, this is just like the yellow and I'm totally, it's invisible. It's practically dry. There's nothing left on my paintbrush invisible. How many color values did I get for, three, for 3D? I have dark orange in this corner, right? Then it's lighter, 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 right now. So good. Nice. And just with our dirty little paintbrush, just turn the corner. Just put a little orange around the corner. Yeah, there. Like the C and the B. And that just a little dry amount, whatever's left on your paintbrush. Now you catch up to me. And then sometimes we smooth it with our finger and I, I decided I don't really like that because it picks up too much of the paint and I do it, I thought I could make the paint smoother. I like the tie-dye texture and everything. And then I thought, I'll use my finger to smooth it, but it actually keeps mixing the paint and just makes medium. I'm like, no, it's dark, medium ran out. But if I use my finger, I basically just do this, which just makes a color, right? And then if I use the tip of my finger, it screeches. Don't let. Okay, let's do this one. But there's all this filth on there. We should clean our paintbrush. Down. Give it a squeezy. And then it's just mostly clean. No, we're going to dirty up those anyway. So I stab my white. And now, look, remember I went outside the lines? Oh, I'm so sad. I'm going to fix it with white. So I land inside my jellyfish. Smash, sneak out. One hair is touching the water. Oh, and it's a little bit orange. So you can see it better. Look at that bead of paint I'm pushing. That's how I get it nice and thick and smooth and erase all of the rough blue. Nice. Now you do, oh, and the bottom. And do the bottom. Oh, right at the top of that pencil. Way like that. So good. Now we're gonna fill it with white paint. Wait, can you predict what's gonna happen? I know, how come? Because we've done this one, the big one. Now, when we go to get their colors, we just get less colors, because, you know, it's not as big, but we just get our white paint, stab, hold it like a magic wand, fill it with white paint, but not in the corner, you know. Oh, I can hear that. Am I being stingy with the paint? It sounded a little scratchy. Love it. The white helps me um, spread out my my yellow paint and my orange paint. And then now I'm going to go get um, yellow. And I can have white paint on there to get yellow, right? Because this makes it baby or yellow. But I'll get a, just instead of two scoops of yellow, maybe one. Does that make sense? Which I knew I didn't land at the top. There, I did it. <laughs> Landing. And now, do you know what to do? Side to side, 
And it's only one finger big this time, just a little bit instead of two fingers, one finger. Okay, and I just go ring, 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 ring. Very yellow. The next one, not very yellow. The next one, I'm running out of yellow. All gone. Invisible. Best part of painting is when you run out of paint, I swear. Love it. Now, look, my paintbrush. No, that'd be gross. You get a paper towel. Give it a squeezy. Yeah. I gotta go get orange. Who thought that was easier than the first one? You understood it. You learn stuff by doing stuff, not by watching, right? So now I'm gonna stab my orange and I need to make this corner all orange before I go scooching. Let's go. Meow. Nope. Sure, burp. But I, and I also don't want that white peeking out. See that white peeking out? I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna be on top of the white. Get out of here, white. There. Okay. Just now gently side of my paintbrush, float on top of the paint very soft. Okay. Oh, I didn't go far enough, right? Okay. And then try to run out of paint. Don't turn your paintbrush over, you'll just land too much paint. And then get all the way to over here with no paint left. Okay, let's try. And you can only get half of it at a time. So I grab this, oh, yellowy orange. I think that's one of my favorite moments when it makes a new color. And then farther away, it's even lighter orange and lighter orange. Make sure you go all the way to the top. It's a good landing. Land, then scribble. <gasps> I'm completely out of orange paint. It's almost gone. Keep going till you get to the very end, even if you don't have any left. Yay. Good job. And even if there's lumps, don't go back and smooth them. Um, when acrylic paint dries, because you use the water paint, um, the air will steal all the water out and the lump will flatten all the way down to flat and just leave the color behind. So you don't have to go back and flatten paint. You just let it dry. Okay. And then there's a little bit of this dirty little orange. Remember how we turn the corner right here? Hello. And then right here. Hello. There. Well, I don't went outside the lines too far. Fixie. <laughs> then clean our paintbrush. Don't be gross. You don't want to eat paint. I'm just teasing you. you want to know what paint tastes like? Exactly how it smells. Disgusting. Reminds me of Windex or cleaning products. I'm gonna put that in your mouth. Okay, now we're gonna do the inside. Oh, right there. But look what paintbrush already has a little bit of blue and purple in it. Just, and we're gonna kind of uh, ruin the white paint because it's dirty. Remember how I said leave that color on there? Here's my trick. So I got a little bit of white paint and I was, I don't know, stick it in the middle. That would ruin all my white paint. Maybe just the corner of the bottom and get a stab of white paint. And I'm going to use the moisture from this and all the color that's already in it. We could add a little bit of blue. But I'm just going to fill it in, the big one, with the dirty little paintbrush. Because it's got blue in it already. But I just need to outline it from the inside. Can I show you? Smash. Right? And then, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought I was going to have way more blue than that. Get another poke of white. Whatever. Get it wet with white first. But I just sneak up to the top right, and then push the paint, which makes it smooth. When I'm trying to make a smooth line, I just push. And then in the middle, I could be wiggly, right? Well, that's obviously white. What color is it supposed to be? Maybe you have more blue in yours. I could add a little bit of blue. Got a little poke of blue. Not a lot. Because we're using a big paintbrush, and the big paintbrush will pick up a lot of things. So just some. A little poke. Some. Some. Could I add more if I want to? Sure. But let's just put some to start. Okay. And I just drop it off like it's a booger, and I want it off. I don't want it. I can already tell it's going to turn baby blue. But let's rub it in. Baby blue. I want another poke. I was too delicate. Swipe. Why do I swipe it first? Just get it off my paintbrush and then I decorate. Okay. Oh, oh, 
Oh, push and shove. And then very gently, with all your dirty little paintbrush, it's got just the right color of blue on it. Sneak up, push near the edge. And I don't have to keep blending. I like it. It's got interesting textures. Right? And then, oh, that one. I bet the color in here is just right for this little piece. It is. But I have to make smooth edges smush. And what am I staring at? That one hair. Bloop. Turn my paintbrush. Oh. That was the exact size of this big paintbrush. Tricky. Good job. That one had a little bit of purple in it. It was in my paintbrush. Fun. I love it when things like that happen. Unexpected. Remember, push pause if you need a moment. And then I'm going to, I don't need to clean this paintbrush. I'll deal with it later. And now we're going to get our, uh, our colors are mostly open. The only color we don't, um, for our um, jellyfish, the only color we don't put on our um, jellyfish uh, tentacles is yellow. She's a see-through color. And when you try to put her on a dark background, she's invisible. So it's not even worth it. We'll use white ones and they'll be shimmer shine. You'll see. So we could put the lid on the yellow one. Thank you, yellow. But who do we need? Well, we can open our turquoise again. Oh, if they won't close, go click. And then sometimes I have to push with my thumb, push, tuck the um, cup underneath. But I can also open my pink because it's obviously my favorite color. Look at pink. And I want my blue open and my turquoise open, my orange open and my blue and my purple. The only one who doesn't get invited is yellow. But she's happy. She doesn't need to participate. Okay, now I'm trying the little paintbrush. And remember when we cleaned it, every time we clean our paintbrush, our paintbrush gets pointy. Cause we're not gonna rub it like this. It makes all the bristles stick out. But if we just go like this, look how pointy she is. Right? So I'm not going to smash my paintbrush. What happens when you smash your paintbrush? It's huge. Yeah. We're actually going to do a trick. It's harder for your brain because you've been doing pencil your whole life, but she's not a pencil. She's a tool, right? So if you hold it from the bottom, when you first land right in the middle of her mouth, in the middle of that blue spot, right? You just land and then you pull from the bottom and I pull it into the corner. And they're not straight. Your hand wiggles a little because it has a wave, maybe a bump, right? But I just go, wee because the water's floating in her tentacles. So I just go, you know, I just pull, and you're gonna run out of paint on purpose. Very dark, running out of paint, running out, and you don't go back and fix it. You're gonna put like all the colors. So if you mess one up, no one's gonna be able to tell because there's so many other things to look at. So let's start with the darkest color. Let's go dark all the way up to the lightest color. So I think purple, right? Purple's the darkest, so stab your purple and get a disgusting amount. I know. And then watch me do it first. I'm gonna land right in the middle of the blue smash and look, it's gonna be huge. But I'm holding it from the bottom of my paintbrush and I just pull it. Yay, and I run out of paint. Look how skinny it got, I don't know. Do I wanna go back and fix it? No, that's kinda cool. Now you try. Should you go back and fix it because it's got an invisible spot right there? No, that happens to be a glint from the light. I don't know. Don't fix it. We don't care. And then stab your purple a lot. And then land, boop, pulling. And where are they trying to go to? This corner. And then I ran out. And it's all kind of wonky. And I missed a spot. See? I don't care. Stab. Maybe another spot. Woo! Oh, it's faster now. Why are you so fast? Because once you do a couple and your brain suddenly understands it, and you're like, oh, you don't scribble it in there. You just pull. Whee! Oh, that one was long. Look how far I got. Okay. They're kind of evenly spaced apart. Human brains do that. Look at those three fingers apart. So weird. Human brain. My parents fell because they were human. Whatever. So I clean now. I can always clean my papers so I can get another color so I don't mix them and make kind of dirt. And that oh, let's do pink. I love pink. 
she's dark. I'm staring at all her No. Blue. I'm staring at them. Blue is darker, right? Stab the blue. Okay. And this time you don't have to make the, we need, we want just four. Four. You know, I forgot to say that in advance. So if you put a whole bunch, sorry, those are just your shadow colors. Okay. But I just don't want to make them evenly spliced again because that's weird. So, and if they touch each other, it's the same fish. Or, yeah, the fish. <gasps> oh, I didn't stop and get paint. That was bad. Mistake. Oh, she didn't go in the corner. She was supposed to go in the corner. Uh, we to the corner, cuter, right? To the corner with a wave in it, a little bump a bump -a. And then do you have parts where you ran out of paint? Those are the invisibility parts. I know. Should you fix it? No. Stop fixing it. It's cute. It's the texture, really, of the tentacle. And then now we could use pink. Stab the pink. Get a lot. So there's a whole bunch when we first land. Woo! Oh, I bumped into the blue. Well, that makes purple, so I don't care. Pulling. Holding it from the end. Who switched back to pencil? All that training you did since you were a baby. Hold it by the end. Stab the pink. Whee! Oh, I landed in the exact same spot. That's incredibly weird. <laughs> I was trying to be different. I was trying to get to the corner and I literally landed in the same spot. And I only make four of each color because there's so many colors. You know something I realize I do without saying it out loud? I just realized I, I know that I'm running out of paint and I see the moment I run out of paint and I spin my paintbrush because I know there's paint on the other side. You know, I never said that out loud. I just realized I do that. Meh. Okay, then clean your paintbrush. Oh, turquoise. Okay. Let's go with turquoise then. And just wherever there isn't the other colors, just four. One. Oh, look how pretty she is. Then two. Then I can't hold it by the bottom. One, two, three. And find another spot. Four. Don't care. Huh. Moist. And the last one's orange. See why we only we, we only put four of each? It would get so crowded if you don't count them. Oh, you know? Now orange. One. Oh, look how pretty. It's like streamers at a party. Two. Oh, it touched my orange. My orange touched my pink and I don't care. One, two. Three. Last one. I'm trying to look for balance. I'm trying to look for where, where it would be cuter. Yeah. Now look how dark these are. Nighttime. Because how many color values did we use? One. This is very medium. So it's dark pink, dark turquoise, dark gray. We never added white. But what if we just add five little white streamers and I'll just turn on the light and if you happen to hit a color, I'll make a baby one. But don't mix it in on purpose. It just happens. So I clean my paintbrush so I don't ruin all my white. Stab my white and put six of them. One. Did I say five before? Who cares? Two. Oh, it hits a white turquoise. Two. I'm holding it from the end. Three. Four. I'm evenly spacing them apart. What a weirdo. Five. Six. So pretty. The white ones turn on the light and sparkles everything. So good. Okay, now we just put some up here in the baby one and we use all the same colors. We just put two of each and they're shorter and not straight. A little wave in it. So I'm gonna hold my other my paper. This is my paper towel. I keep cleaning my paintbrushes. I'm just gonna hold it so I can go faster, you know? So it was purple first. One, two, pinch, blue. One. And how delicate am I being? Why am I being so soft? Make some smaller. So good. See if what you can do. 
feel what you learn so but soft with your paintbrush makes things tiny one what's next <laughs> turquoise you do it you know what to do you don't need me one okay i'm pinching my paintbrush every time orange one and then pause if you need to. I'm going faster. I start, I feel the end coming and I start going faster. I noticed that about myself. Slow down, calm down. <laughs> calm down, Pixie. Okay, get some white. Now I get to put maybe four sparkly white ones. Oh, look how delicate I'm being. I'm holding it from the bottom. I'm barely pressing. Jeez. Turn over my paintbrush because I see there's white on the other side. Three. Okay, but five. Oh, I made them evenly spaced apart. Weirdo human. I'm gonna put one more just to break the pattern. I'll make two close together. There, broke the pattern. Good job. Now what does mine have that yours doesn't have? Bubbles, like a little jellyfish burp. Right? But this is fun. We're gonna use our fingerprint because she gets just, she's a little stamp and she's she'll make a perfectly round little bubble. And we're gonna climb right between the two and just kind of go to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, right. And you're gonna run out of paint and they become invisible and super tiny on purpose. So the first ones I get, oh, it'll be it'll be very white, white. And then there's one, then I go a little higher and to the right. Then I go a little higher and to the left. Then I go a little higher to the right. And then I'm running out of paint already and they're becoming very invisible and very tiny because I ran out of paint. What? To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, a little higher. But now they look like two straight lines. Let's ruin them a little and put another little pattern in there. Boink, 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 climb, 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 running out of paint, running out of paint. Cute, cute, cute. Burp. Okay, put some down here. Burp, 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 burp. Okay, two. And a burp. And then lick my finger off. Paper towel, where's my paper towel? Good job, what do you think? I know I went too fast, I warned you, because you're not here. I hope you paused and you enjoyed the quiet time when I wasn't talking. <laughs> so it came out very cute. Now check for 3D. Um, does your jellyfish have dark orange, medium orange, light orange? Does your, your yellow very yellow, not very yellow? Very yellow. Is your background, do you have white pieces and dark pieces and light pieces now that it's dry? Good job. Very nice. Came out really good. 